Again, good morning. I'm Danielle Revenbark. I'm sitting in for Amy, and she is doing another presentation uh, this morning. So, along with a, lo a number of our other consultants um, down in Pinehurst. So, thank you all for joining us this morning. I have started the recording. I'm going to go ahead and put the link for the opening code for CEU credit. Um, if you would, please fill that out. Um, I will post it a couple more times as I get started. Um, today's presentation is on agricultural education. Um, it is by Sherry Lee Deal. Sherry Lee is also um, off-site giving another presentation, so she has prepared a video for us. And I am going to share my screen and play that video for y'all now. Hey y'all, I've paused. Is everybody hearing the video? I have a couple noted that you guys are not hearing the video. So I'm wondering if, nope, okay. Well, let's try this again. Let me stop sharing. And let me see if I can share again. My volume is up loud. I'm going to start again. Hello, and welcome to this session of the School Counselor and Career Development Coordinator Lunch and Learn series. This is Sherry Lee Deal from North Carolina State University in collaboration with the North Carolina Department of Public Instruction, and I serve as the Agricultural Education Curriculum Consultant. I'm excited today to tell you a little bit about how and where a career in agriculture can lead you. As we get started and go through the presentation, if you have any questions, you are welcome to scan the QR code or click on the link in the presentation and enter any questions that you might have and I will answer them in a timely fashion. One other housekeeping item is that for each of our Lunch and Learn series, professional development series, we ask that you scan the QR code that you see on the screen and enter your attendance to check in. You can also click on the link that's found directly in the presentation itself to enter in your attendance as well. 
I'll pause for a few seconds to allow you to check in to today's Lunch and Learn series. I would first like to introduce you to our Agricultural Education State staff. Each of the individuals you see on the screen work for North Carolina State University through the Cooperative Extension Service and provide support and resources to all of our agricultural education teachers, as well as career development coordinators, school counselors, and administrators in our public school systems. To connect a few faces with some names, I'd like to show you um, information for Mr. Joshua Bledsoe, who serves as our state agricultural education leader. Ms. Carmen Bracey is Everything FFA and is our state FFA coordinator, which is our career and technical student organization through agricultural education. This session today is being provided by myself, Ms. Sherry Lee Deal, who serves as the curriculum coordinator. We are fortunate enough through the North Carolina Agricultural Education and Cooperative Extension Service to have additional support staff that are located throughout um, different regions within our state. Mr. Andy Von Cannon, Mr. Jason Chester, and Ms. Allison Jennings are located in the regions that you see indicated on the screen. They are often your first point of contact if you have any questions about needs for programs in agricultural education, how to initiate an agricultural education program in your schools, and also help provide curriculum and FFA support resources. As we move into our program information related to agricultural education, the first thing that I would like to do is overview our agricultural education mission. Agricultural education does prepare students for successful careers and a lifetime of informed cho choices in the global agriculture, food, and fiber natural resource systems. We accomplish this mission in several ways, but we follow a three circle model that we feel is very important in any agricultural education program. Classroom instruction, supervised agricultural experience, and FFA are the components of the three circle model. This model is supported not only here in North Carolina, but across the nation through the National Council for Agricultural Education. SAE, or Supervised Agricultural Experience, is our work-based learning component of the three-circle model. And FFA, as we mentioned, is our CTSO that supports leadership as well as career development events. From an agricultural education standpoint, in 2002, we were fortunate enough to support 391 agricultural education programs across the state. Those 391 agricultural education programs comprised of over 579 agriculture teacher positions. This ranks North Carolina the third highest in the nation. Quick facts about FFA can be found at the ncffa.org website each year. The link on the screen will lead you to the 2022 Quick Facts. I would now like to highlight a few of those Quick Facts which will help us link our programming information to the three circle model that I referenced before. Our Quick Facts information does show or break down the supervised agricultural experience projects, not only in terms of the number of hours that students committed to those projects alone just in, 20, in 2022, but also the number of dollars that were committed to our SAE projects of over $4 million. It also shows the breakdown of how many projects were in our different categorical error areas, such as placement, work experience, research investigation, and entrepreneurship and self-employment. The quick fact sheet also will give an indication of agricultural education enrollment. You can see on the screen that our three 
most popular areas of agricultural education enrollment are in the agribusiness, agrosciences area, animal systems, and plant systems. This information is not designed to be exclusive and indicate only the in career areas that we would encourage our students to be enrolled in, but just gives a frame of reference for our career development coordinators and school counselors. Our career and technical student organization information is highlighted and I have already referenced that Ms. Carmen Bracey leads our North Carolina FFA Association. I also want to mention that we are supported at the national level by the National FFA Organization. Here in North Carolina, when we go back and reference our 2022 Quick Facts information, you can see that in 2022, we were able to reach an all-time membership high of 32,597 FFA members. This put North Carolina as the fourth largest state association in the United States, and we are very proud of that statistic. Those 32,597 students were found in 355 FFA chapters across our state. You can see the breakdown of how many of those chapters were high school versus middle school. I also would like to mention that that number, the 355 number, has continued to increase since 2022, and we are continuing to see explosive growth in the middle school area. We want to thank all of the programs, counselors, and career development coordinators that are helping encourage FFA membership at the middle school level. I also want to point out that you can see on the screen that 66% of our students kill, still come from a rural background or community and to become involved in agricultural education. But the number of urban and suburban students continues to rise. I think that this statistic shows us that FFA is for everyone, regardless of the community that you come from. As we move into some pathway specific information that will help us better understand where a career in agricultural education can lead you, I want to first point out that we follow the Agriculture, Food, and Natural Resources Career Pathway. This pathway is designed by not only the National Council for Agricultural Education and the National Association of Agricultural Educators, but other agencies that are an integral part of designing this career pathway. The independent or the specific pathways are surrounded in the graphic that you see here on the screen, and, uh, but I would like to indicate which ones we focus here on in North Carolina. As you can see, we have seven pathways that we follow or provide curriculum and instruction in here in North Carolina. The food products and processing systems, if you were to look at that particular pathway, you would not see any specific classes that are supported through me as the agricultural education consultant. Those are still found in the food systems uh, cluster. Most of you watching today's presentation have most likely referenced the North Carolina CTE course management system. If you have not done so, I highly encourage that you follow the link that's found in the presentation and use this information as a consistent reference for curriculum pathways, courses, standards, enrollment information, and much more. It is an outstanding resource for consultants, career development coordinators, administrators, school counselors, and many more. The course management system for agricultural education will outline a graphic similar to the one that you see on the screen for each of the pathways that we follow. The one that I've selected to just reference briefly today is our animal science pathway. You can see that this animal science pathway will indicate a foundational prerequisite if there is one, the prerequisite for the concentrator level, and then a career pathway major options. Each of the pathways will have a similar layout and indicate any courses that are a part of that particular 
area of the pathway. You might have noticed on the previous screen that we do also indicate in our pathways all of our middle school courses that are a part of the agricultural education pathway. Those are listed here on the screen again for your reference in the event that you are looking to add a middle school program related to agricultural education. Now that we understand a little bit about programming and pathways related to agricultural education, let's move into some more specific information about career exploration and how you can help your students explore a career in agricultural education. One of the most common career exploration sites that you may have used is ncareers.org. This is an excellent resource and is directly linked to the Department of Bureau, the Bureau of Labor Statistics. When you visit this website, you can select the Explore Occupations prompt and it will lead you to a page that shows some of the similar graphics that you see here on the screen. When you, re when you arrive at this page, you can enter in a specific type of occupation or job title to search for a career in any of our pathway areas that fall under career and technical education. You can also select or decide to search by career cluster and follow some of the filters that you see here on the screen. Of course, I've filtered for agriculture, food, and natural resources to see which jobs and the job outlook, salary information, and all other related information that pertains to agricultural education. While the NC Careers website is an excellent resource, I would also encourage you to use the some additional agriculture-focused career exploration platforms. The one that I want to highlight today is Ag Explorer. This is sponsored and supported by our national FFA organization and is an outstanding resource for career exploration. The screenshot that you see in the presentation is a, a, from the homepage for Ag Explorer. I'm now going to click on this and open the Ag Explorer page itself. Here, when we arrive at the home page, you see, again, like I said, a similar um, picture as to what was in my presentation. The Ag Explorer website breaks down career areas into the focus areas that you see on the screen. These nine areas will highlight all careers that are associated with agricultural education. Some additional features that you'll find on the Ag Explorer website include a career finder, virtual field trips, as well as ed educator resources. Let's look at one of these nine career focus areas and see how the pages are set up to help facilitate your career exploration process that you may share with your students. I'm going to select Agribusiness Systems. When we arrive at this page, you can see there are several things here that your students may find interest in exploring about an agricultural career in the Agribusiness Systems pathway. There is a Career Finder prompt on each of these pages. This Career Finder prompt will lead the students to a Career Interest Survey that Taylor designs careers related to the interest areas of the student. Another item that I want to make sure that I feature is that you'll see on each of the nine career area pages links to SAE ideas. This finds little cutout cards or just the visual view that you can use for students to help design and encourage various SAE projects. A 
as we continue to scroll down the Agribusiness Systems Pathway page, you will find a host of information about specific careers in this content area. Even if the student has not taken the Career Finder Interest Survey, they can come to this page and select various filters to tailor design conditions that they are, that they are interested in. Some of those uh, filters include environment, in terms of whether they would want to work inside or outside, the education they may want to pursue, pursue after high school, salary-related information, as well as job outlook information. If you or your students are just simply perusing this website and don't want to filter, you will also find a listing of several careers related to that target area. As we mentioned, all of the careers that you see here are related to agribusiness and there are quite a lot of them. As I select one of the careers, and I've picked Human Resources Generalist, I go through and find additional information about responsibilities, future job outlook, education and training required, and I can even select See Available Jobs. Now at this point, you may be thinking, wow, this is a lot of information. And I can't say that I blame you. I will remind you that earlier in the presentation, I pointed out that there are educator resources that you can use to help guide your students through the career exploration process. When you open the educator resources page, you'll find a number of lesson plans related specifically to the Ag Explorer website. Each of these can be downloaded and utilized by anyone who visits this site. These lesson plans are not exclusive to agriculture teachers only. Now that we've taken a look at one of the agriculture related career exploration sites, I want to take just one more moment of your time and link it to an additional site or resource that you may find helpful. You may have seen this icon as we perused the Ag Explorer website from agcareers.com. This is an additional agriculture focused career exploration platform. While this one is probably too advanced for our middle school students in some cases, it can be useful, especially for those students who are seeking a specific agriculture related job. When I arrive at the agcareers.com website, the first thing that I'm going to want to do is select the country that I want to go and work in. From here, I can look for specific jobs based off of the job title, the keywords, or even the company that I want to go and work for. I can also select where I would like to live or reside or see jobs that are available, whether that's here in North Carolina or in California. As I said before, you may have noticed this agcareers.com logo found on the Ag Explorer website. These two platforms work hand in hand with each other and provide career exploration resources. You can see here that they recent re re recently released a new classroom implementation guide for ag educators. This page leads us to not only featured employer information, but also a specific lesson plan that follows the Ag Careers Ag and Food Career Guide. 
Again, all of these resources are available to everyone, not just our agriculture teachers. As we begin to, sum, to wrap up for today, I just want to mention some additional professional development opportunities that we offer through agricultural education for our teachers. We do attend the CTE Summer Conference and offer a variety of workshops and professional development training through that event. Agriculture Education also has a summer workshop series that will be sent out starting in April to, to, for teachers to view and sign up for. Other professional opportunities, professional development opportunities are also listed here on the screen. During today's presentation, I've provided a number of resources for you. I wanted to just provide a, a quick slide here to quickly link any of the platforms that I referenced. referenced. The only one on this list that we did not take a look at today is our newly released Ag Ed Quick Reference Guide. This Google Sheet provides a quick reference for all things related to agricultural education. If you are a school counselor or a career development coordinator, and you need a quick reference on which courses are inherently honors or any credential information or our community college articulated courses and much more, you can use this website reference for yourself. This document is linked on the FFA, on the North Carolina FFA curriculum homepage. Last but not least, don't forget, if you had any questions during today's presentation or need follow-up information, please enter those questions in the form provided on the screen. At this time, it's time to scan the QR code or click the link found in the presentation and check out from today's Lunch and Learn series. I've enjoyed talking to you today about where an agriculture career can lead you and hope you have found this information helpful. Thank you. So with that, um, you all have the, the link for questions. Um, if you have questions for Sherry Lee, um, please send those over to her via that link um, or her email. And I'm going to post the closing link one more time in the chat. Um, so make sure that those of you in attendance are going to get credit. Um, and with that, thank you all for attending today's webinar. And we look forward to seeing you at the next webinar. We will get those CEUs sent out um, certificates within the next week. Um, and again, if you have any questions, um, feel free to reach out. Um, if you have any registration questions, I'm also going to drop my email in the chat as well. Thanks, everyone.